Hi friend, welcome to or welcome back to Yoga Born YouTube. And Yoga Born YouTube is a true passion project for myself and Jay, the owners of Yoga Born. We really firmly believe that yoga and holistic well-being should be as accessible and inclusive as possible. And this is what Yoga Born YouTube is all about. It's free. There are more than just movement practices. There's mindfulness, meditation, relaxation. Today, we have a restful reads practice for you. So we really hope you enjoy what we're offering. If you do, please give us the thumbs up under any videos that you watch and please subscribe to the channel. It really helps us to grow this offering. So as I've mentioned, today is restful reads at the beginning or beginning-ish of each month. I've started reading from the Almanac, and this has been one of my favorite books for many years. It's a seasonal guide each year. It's also been fantastic to see that people that I've recommended it to have bought this and started using it. Um, and as well, I've noticed on Instagram, many more people have been posting about the Almanac, and there's much more interest in seasonal and cyclical living. So that is a real amazing thing to see. And it's by Leah Lindertz. And this is Meditations for September and September's influences and guidance from Louise Press. So all you have to do for Restful Reads is dedicate a couple of minutes to pause. If you can, take a seat, ground your feet to the earth, close your eyes, take a deep breath. <sighs> One less second. As September arrives, we begin to relinquish our outer energy and adjust our focus inwards once again. Guided by the season, we can take time this month to reflect on our inner harvest. All around us, berries, apples, hips and nuts have ripened. This is a time of gratitude for the abundance of life, for gathering in and sharing with friends, family, community, and beyond. The autumn equinox on the 22nd, marking the moment of balance between light and dark, is the moment in the year when we cross from outer expression to our inner reflection. We kick off with a new moon in Virgo on the 3rd, which calls us home to ourselves after the expansion of the last few months. Summer is filled with outer action and expenditure of energy which is wonderful for the soul, but can permeate our energetic boundaries. Virgo reminds us to shore up on our self-protection once again and prepare to focus on our inner health and well-being. It's time to sort the wheat from the chaff. We can ask ourselves questions such as, what plans have been fruitful and what actions have not served us so well? By doing this, we fill our autumn basket with goodness and let go of the rest. We are treated to a super full moon and partial lunar eclipse on the 18th in the sign of Pisces. A super full moon or super moon being closer and therefore appearing larger and brighter than usual has a greater energetic influence on life, on earth, emphasizing our intentions and strengthening our actions. By its nature, a full moon reveals. What will this emotionally sensitive Pisces energy reveal in us this month? We may feel our vulnerabilities as we begin to shed our outer layers and prepare for autumn. We may also pick up on subtle energies around us, the mood of our loved ones, our community, and the wider web of society. It's important not to dismiss what we pick up. Pisces is the ancient mystic and she lives in us all. So I hope you enjoyed that. Really do recommend the Almanac. Really recommend Restful Reads on YouTube. Um, there's lots of different readings, not just the Almanac. And of course, check out as many practices as you can. Please let us know what you think. Please do subscribe to help us grow the channel. Take really good care of yourself. Bye for now.